Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of Feature News. My name is Carlos Valenzuela. And I'm Norma Vasquez. Entrepreneurship program hosted Burger Fest. So, Carlos, did you get a burger? I actually had more than one, so tomorrow when I hit hitting the gym, like hardcore. <laughs> well, I only had one. Just one? Yeah, that was pretty How good. Was it? Good. Good? Yep. You have no regrets? Nope. I ate it and it was delicious. All, All right. So, let's see what happened at Burger Fest. Let's take it, Christy. Come on, Christy, give it to me. <laughs> at the UC, where the Bauer School of Business College students are preparing, organizing, selling for the best burgers here on campus. I'm Andrew Sauer, and I am responsible for the Burger Palace and the counter. We have partnered up. Uh, we have a manager for each team, and then What's I'm the CEO. The and so, a lot of hard work. We've had a lot of problems, but it's so much fun. The entrepreneurship program puts on Burger Fest, and so to actually be a member of a team, you have to be a part of the entrepreneurship program, and you have to apply and uh, send in an application and go through interviews and go through an, the entire process of joining the Wolf Center for Entrepreneurship. But then after that, we, you can volunteer and help out, and that's a great way to get involved with the entrepreneurship program. So. Wow. Well, congratulations. That's going to be a part of So Thank where you. do the profits go? The profits go directly to the Wolf Center for Entrepreneurship and to the CBA Foundation. And uh, we're always looking for extra donors to come out and support our Burger Fest team. So. That's awesome. So why don't you go ahead and tell the viewers, what sets your team apart from everybody else's out here? We have the best quality. That's what we went for. I mean, we have Kobe beef over there. And with Burger Palace, that is just incredible hamburgers. And I, I recommend going to their store. Same with the counter off of Washington. Uh, they have customizable burgers. And what they brought out today are sliders. And so they have Hawaiian rolls. It's, it's just incredible. It's good. Burgers are selling fast, and the competition is getting real close. Not only are people getting to enjoy a great lunch, but also they're helping to a good cause by donating to the Bauer School of Business students. Luckily, I was able to get a burger today, so this has been Christy Rodriguez with Feature News. All right, thank you, Christy. It seems like you had like a lot of fun at the Burger Fest today. And well, now in local news, Houstonians were shocked when NASA announced on Tuesday that unfortunately, Houston, the city that saw the birth of a space program, will not be on the list of cities to house one of the six retired space shuttles. According to many economists, this will mean the loss of millions of dollars in revenue to the city. LBJ Space Center planned to build a 53,000 square facility that will have housed these jewels of the space era. Very unfortunate, actually. Twin brothers Edwin Lair Burnt and Edward Christian Burnt have been charged with the murder of their mother. Police say the twins left their mother die after she fell into the foyer three months ago and they lived with her decomposing body. The mother fell into the foyer but the twins left her there because they did not have the money for medical expenses. They did not feed her and on the third day she died. They lived with her decomposed body for three whole months and they didn't report it because they did not have the money to bury her. The brothers have no att attorneys yet. So Carlos, what do you think about the whole situation? It's definitely a sad story, so hopefully there will be um, an ending to that story soon. And so now we go to state where it's actually burning with news, so let's go to that right away. And we open our state window in a state news controller, Susan Combs announced that more than 3.5 million people's social security numbers, addresses, and personal information were disclosed on a publicly accessible state com computer server. This security breach is believed to be one of the biggest in the nation of its kind, and according to controller's office and the FBI, several workers at this agency were fired over this incident. Norma? 
In Henderson, Texas, 20-year-old Jessica Carson has received an automatic sentence of life in prison without parole. This is for the sexual assault and beating to death of her infant daughter in 2008, in which jury found her guilty of capital murder. In national news, the pain for U.S. drivers at the pump is far from being over. According to analysts, four dollars to four dollars per gallon could soon be the price you have to pay in your state. This week, Illinois became the first state in the nation where the average price per gallon tipped to four dollars and three cents. Speaking about cars and gas guzzlers, Carlos, you look like you drive a truck. Are you serious? Do you drive a truck? Yeah, sure. I'll drive. Many trucks. Well, pay attention to this because Ford F-150s have been recalled. Oh my God. If you drive a Ford F-150, pay attention. Ford has announced a recall on F-150s due to defective airbags. This includes over 1.2 million vehicles that run from 2004 through 2006 model years. Drive safe, check your truck. And Norma, there is definitely a lot of going on in international news, so why don't we go to our correspondent Ana Gallegos to see what's going on in the world today. And in the world today, 16 Mexican police officers have been arrested in connection with the mass graves found in San Fernando, Tamaulipas. The officers are accused of covering up the murders of the Zeta drug cartel. So far, 126 bodies have been found. Start over. Um, you can, uh, it's here, yeah, because that was the last one you, you finished, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can okay. start there. Pakistan has recently condemned the, u the use of U.S. drones and CIA involvement in the Middle Eastern country. This is causing tension to rise between the two countries. Syria has announced the formation of a new government and a new prime minister. This comes in response to anti-regime protests in the past month. And that's what's going on in the world today. Back to you, Carlos and Norma. Thank you, Anna. And Norma, like always in technology news, I ask you a question, so I'm going to ask you this time. Okay. Do you watch TV online? No, I don't. Never? Not even 1394? Oh, wait. I do watch 1394. You watch that one, right? Yes, I do. Good. So actually, these surprises will... Actually, this news will surprise you, especially those who like to watch Hulu and other websites. So, uh, surprising reports were revealed this year by internet television sites like Hulu and others. According to a report by IHS Online, television generated more than $1.6 billion in revenue last year, which is up 34%. The biggest chunk of that money came from online advertising in these television online sites, which generated $719 million. So, definitely, television is turning to the internet, and the revenue is definitely increasing. So, I think good things are coming up. Yes, it sounds like they are. So that's it for today. So Carlos, you're going on your F-150? I'm definitely more than ready. See, I'm up and ready. I just need my hat. And your burger. Exactly, that's even better. Mm, delicious. <laughs> so that's it, that's it for this edition of Feature News. We'll take you next time. Remember to check uhlgato.com where you can find information 24-7 at your fingertips. I'm Norma Vasquez. And I'm Carlos Valenzuela. See you next time. Bye-bye. Toodles.